Sometimes, the tables are turned on the storm chasers. That's what happened to Jim Bishop when he found himself pursued by a ferocious Nebraska tornado with nearly lethal consequences. As a storm chaser, you want to put yourself in the tornado's path, but you want to get out of it, you know, plenty of time. It's heading for us. I'm videotaping due south, and th at this point, the tornado is two and a half miles wide. So right now, it's just a black wedge. Just 25 miles southwest of Lincoln, Nebraska, this enormous tornado is packing winds estimated in excess of 200 miles an hour. It's cutting us off. Okay. It's cutting us off. Our We're road goes hit. south. We're going to head back to town. Yeah, go south, guys. Listen to that thing roar. Okay, it's gonna. Oh, Don't panic. Our escape route wasn't gonna work. We had to choose another one, which was dangerous, but <laughs> much more safe than staying in the path of the tornado. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Yeah, we keep on going, Simon. Just keep on going. So keep on going. The back right windshield, it actually went out. It cracked. Something, some piece of debris hit it. I'm getting out of here. With the massive F4 tornado nipping at their heels, Jim and his friends frantically look for shelter in the town of Wilbur, Nebraska. Get out! Get out! Get out the car! They take refuge in an empty building, but even that can't protect them from the tornado's violent winds. I held the camera as steady as I could, and what's going through my mind, I'm thinking, okay, if this thing hits us, we're screwed. <laughs> Bottom line, there was no way that I was going to miss out on the video opportunity because I'm already there. Watch what happens as the camera keeps rolling. The front of the building blows apart. Within two or three seconds, uh, it was somewhat like an explosion. Boom! You could tell that, you could tell that there was a circulation hitting us because the little, the things that were hanging down from the ceiling in the front of the building actually were forced forward, like they were being sucked in. And all the bricks from the top of the building came crashing down. You guys okay? You okay, Jim? I'm fine. We were taking probably the most precautions we could. That was probably the safest thing to do. And it, Bit us in the behind. <laughs> Luckily, the storm chasers were in the back of the building when the tornado struck. They walked out without a scratch. The same can't be said for their car, oh my. which bears the scars of the devastating tornado. As a storm chaser, it's a it's it's a sobering experience to have a storm. I, you know, kind of chase you. After you're chasing it, you become the chasey, I guess. You know, you go to, you have to take refuge in a building and a tornado hits you. It, it makes you really appreciate severe weather and really have a lot of respect for Mother Nature.